So, if you look from high up in an airplane uh, down at a railroad tracks, they go for a long, long way and uh, seem to be parallel to each other and never meet. But there are other ways of looking from different places. And if you look from different places, the appearance of railroad tracks can look qualitatively different. Here, for instance, uh, we see that railroad tracks actually do meet. They meet at the horizon. <laughs> and families of parallel lines all converge at a so-called point at infinity or vanishing point. This leads to a question, Carolina, which is, uh, how do you do justice to the possibility of Have a good night. the same thing looking different? Can you portray that accurately? Or, uh, in quasi-mathematical terms, what transformations can one make on an image while still having that image uh, represent the same object, the same object, same from different places. That question is the question that the artists of the Renaissance really first addressed rigorously and led to the subject known as perspective in art and as projective geometry in mathematics. It's a truly wonderful subject. And I'll show you a, a lovely example of it in a moment. Uh, but first, I want to relate it to symmetry. The implication of the fact that you can uh, look at the same object and have different images of it is that you can change the image without changing what it represents. And conversely, uh, if you have an object, uh, you can look at it from different perspectives, you can look at it from different orientations or far away from or near. Uh, if you look at it that way, you'll see different images. But the totality of images uh, doesn't change. So you can rotate the object or move it far away or move it in all kinds of ways. Uh, that will change the way it looks, but it won't change the totality of representations that are found. So this concept of change without change is the essence of symmetry, that you can perform transformations that uh, could have changed something, but in fact don't. And it's that symmetry in, is a, in common language is a kind of vague word. It's used as uh, a synonym for some kind of balance. Uh, but in science, the precise subject, the precise version that's become very fruitful is this concept that you can change things without them changing. Andre, how you doing? Have a good People one. find symmetry beautiful both intellectually and artistically. Uh, one of the joys of uh, going back to these ideas was, uh, for me, learning the art of perspective. And here is a, a joyful example of it.